Today we're exploring one of my favorite design techniques that Imagineering implements in the park. We're going to discover the keyholes of Disneyland. Greetings fellow citizens of Disneyland, Ricky here with today a designer deep dive of how Walt Disney Imagineering takes a very traditional compositional trick Check. technique that goes back to the beginning of illustrating, trying to make a composition that's more compelling that many illustrators and artists do in the 2D world, but how they implement it into our real world. Today I want to show you how Walt Disney Imagineering takes that design discipline and implements it into the theme parks, giving us a transformative experience, taking us from our world into many others. Today we're exploring the top keyholes of Disneyland. Before we tour the park to show you the top four keyholes, let's have a quick lesson on the design theory. Learn from me and Walt Disney about what a keyhole is and why it's a staple of Walt Disney Imagineering theme park design. Let's begin our designer deep dive where all great designs start on a piece of paper. Our 1955 Disneyland's 2000 Leagues Under the Sea poster features a keyhole revealing three characters on a top layer peering through a middle layer to the octopus in the background. However, design is not always going to be this straightforward. You can't always have a window in your artwork. This is where illustrators and designers get sophisticated by creating the keyhole. In the 1955 Frontierland Mark Twain poster by the exact same artist Bjorn Aronson. Use this technique to great effect. The top layer of the image features a view around another boat, forcing the viewer to spend a little more time examining the print as they work their way over to the Davy Crockett Explorer canoes and eventually back to the Mark Twain, the intended subject matter. From here, we can see Tom Sawyer's island in the distance. The layering effect forces our eyes to pause and process what we're seeing. I took the exact same poster, removed the foreground, and as you can see, it's still a nice print. You can still see the Mark Twain in the canoe, but it doesn't have the same interaction where your eyes have to take a moment to engage with it. You can simply just go steamship, canoe, river, got it. The look around point on the three layer poster creates an interaction that this single poster just lacks. Take for example, the 1991 Adventure Isle poster for Disneyland Paris. You can see that there are three distinct layers, the skull rocks on the top layer that we're looking around, the tree house with its light blue background and various landscapes serves as a backdrop. However, the centerpiece is the pirate ship sitting there on the middle layer. Our brain has to navigate around the rocks to see the pirate ship, where we also notice that there's an infinity that extends beyond it, making us feel as though we are within this world. After editing out the look around point on the top layer, the illustration becomes very flat. It's still a great illustration, but it lacks the dynamics and our brains would not spend an extra second engaging with it. You could simply look at this and think pirate ship floating around some stuff done. The keyhole is often put in by illustrators to create a forced perspective where they direct your eyes and attention to a specific area of the poster to create an engaging experience. Two more, don't want to bore you, but when we examine the 2005 Jungle River Cruise poster for Hong Kong Disneyland and focus on the top layer or the look around point, we can see that everything in this layer is designed to make you look past it. As if you're looking through a keyhole, this design is intentional because the attraction is not about riding on a boat, it's about creating an immersive experience that draws you in. This attraction is about the adventure that the boat takes you on. And our last one, before we bring on our co-host, Walt Disney, the 1995 Indiana Jones adventure poster created by the master Drew Struzan, who also did the poster for Indiana Jones and some of the Star Wars films, is a masterpiece of compositional design. While there is a border creating an outer edge keyhole, there is a keyhole inside where the Cobra and the folks on the ride vehicle create a top layer that surrounds our hero Indiana Jones, who's in the middle plane. Moving back to the last layer, the infinity zone, you can see how the colors are softened because in the real world, as we look off into the distance, everything becomes more blue, or in this case, it becomes lighter. By masterfully creating all three layers in unison, you can achieve a tremendous amount of depth, action, storytelling, and in this case, adventure, and most importantly, extra attention from your brain. If you were walking around looking at a bunch of images, this one would surely stand out. It shows how the keyhole works in a two-dimensional illustrative world. By masterfully creating all three of these layers in unison, you get a tremendous amount of depth, action, adventure, and attention from your brain. If you were walking around looking at a bunch of images, this one would surely stand out. 
This is how the keyhole works in the two-dimensional illustrative world. Now let's have our friend Walt Disney show us how it works in the animated world and how Walt Disney Imagineers took what the animators were doing and figured out how to implement it into the theme parks. Closer on this moonlight scene, you'll notice that everything grows larger, including the moon. Now when you walk along a country road toward the moon, it certainly doesn't grow larger like this, nor does it shrink in size when you walk away from it. The problem was how to take a painting and make it behave like a real piece of scenery under the camera. The trouble was we were photographing a flat two-dimensional background. So we set about making plans and blueprints for a new cartoon camera that would overcome this. The different elements in the scene were separated according to their varying distances from the viewer. This put the moon on a plane farthest away from the camera. With our original picture broken down in this manner, it is possible to control the relative speed with which each individual part of it moves to or away from the camera. But the moon remains absolutely still, and so it will always remain the same, neither growing nor shrinking in size. Thanks, Walt. I'll take it from here. Disneyland is special because it's designed by visual artists and it's not a real city. The illustrators who created Walt's cartoons used the same design principles to make Disneyland appear more aesthetically perfect than the real world. Four layers are used to create many of the best views at Disneyland. The real world, a fake background, the hero image or focal point, and the keyhole that frames it and creates a 2D composition in a real world environment by forcing you to observe everything from a very specific focal point. All right, enough of this book learning. Let's get to living and looking at some of the best keyhole views at the Disneyland Resort. Let's start with a simple dark ride that houses one of the best keyholes, Snow White. Although redone several times since 1955's opening, the attraction still occupies a very small footprint resulting in several of the vignettes being designed with the keyhole design principles in mind. Typically on this attraction, there's a real world frame or cutout that creates the keyhole and the main character or storytelling device is directly behind it with a projected or hand painted background. Three layers, a lot of storytelling and an incredibly small space. The Evil Queen scene is among the park's best keyhole views with the doors opening, resetting our visual expectations and framing one of Fantasyland's best dark ride scenes. The very next scene in the finale kiss are also perfectly framed keyhole views, but none are as good as the scene where all of the design principles of the animated classic appear in our real world, and we get to go inside of Snow White's adventure for a brief moment. Let's examine how the design principle of keyhole framing scenes can be taken to an expert level. The Disneyland classic, Pirates of the Caribbean, uses keyholes as a storytelling device to frame new scenes and add chapters to the story. These keyhole cutouts are present all along the ride, with many layers of keyholes within the epic scenes. They are also used to bridge scenes together. Interestingly, the ride often frames the adventure as if you're always looking at a poster for the attraction you're riding, using the boat in front of you to achieve this effect. This makes the ride a living, breathing piece of artwork, with every scene and every turn perfectly placed to frame living pieces of artwork and real-world illustrations for you to observe as you float on by. The best keyhole of the attraction and of any dark ride at Disneyland is the scene where you leave behind the skeletons and the dead and join the living pirates in their menace and terror. Although the scene is a little too dark these days, you can still see when the boat in front of you enters the keyhole. It's like you're looking at a living illustration where the balance, movement, and lighting and storytelling are perfectly framed in front of your eyes. And before you know it, the scene is over and your boat is creating the magic for the people behind you. The second drop is also an excellent example of Disneyland's design principles, but this keyhole scene is the pinnacle of the attraction's artistry. This Disneyland design principle has become an integral part of how Imagineering designs Disney rides to tell stories. You'll even find artificial keyholes inside the new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This projection-based ride attempts to implement enough real-world design rules so that the cartoon world we enter feels believable. 
Let's shift our focus from individual attraction scenes to overall theme lands. Disneyland has always made theming a core part of its identity. The modern era of theme park design has given a rise to highly immersive lands like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Keyholes within the land perfectly frame vignettes of Star Wars set designs and concept artwork, transporting us, the guests, to the planet of Batuu. Galaxy's Edge is divided into three sections, much like the three trilogies that inspired this land. Keyholes were used to transition between chapters in the story, just like Pirates of the Caribbean's interior ride design, here on the exterior, massive keyholes edit the story and move visitors into the next location and chapter. What sets Disneyland's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge apart from Hollywood Studios' clone are the well-curated tunnels and keyholes that transport visitors to Batuu. The central tunnel leads to the Black Spire Outpost, where the natives shop and trade. But the third and final keyhole, which takes visitors into the Resistance area, offers the best view in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Upon emerging from the tunnel, there is a second building designed solely to give you this view of something that looks like Walt Disney Imagineering Lucasfilm concept artwork. This is a rendering of what Star Wars looks like, but we get to walk into this artwork and live our Star Wars stories here. This view is truly inspiring and always feels like a childhood dream come true. And just to add another layer of immersion, there is a keyhole inside of this keyhole, creating a sense of depth that makes this experience feel even more real. Through this tunnel, imagination transforms into reality. Of course, when exploring the keyholes of the Disneyland Resort, we have to pay tribute to the absolutely best one, the Pacific Wharf entrance into Radiator Springs, Cars Land. This one is unbelievable because everything on the other side of this tunnel is fantastic, but here we have it perfectly framed as if we're leaving Southern California and walking into this painting, into this landscape inside of Arizona. Saving the best for last, Cars Land boasts the most epic keyhole inside of Disney parks. At the end of Pacific Wharf, where Cross Street begins, there is a land bridge that perfectly frames the flagship attraction of the land, Radiator Racers. As you approach, you'll notice that the artificial desert scene in front of us is painted like a painting. Objects close to us are painted with bright and deep oranges and reds, making them appear darker and bolder our brains interpret this as being real and close. But the real magic happens when you look along the back wall of rocks. They're all painted much lighter, giving them a feeling of being much further away than they actually are. Finally, the towering Cadillac range is painted in muted sandy shades of brown and khaki, which triggers our brains to interpret it as tall and very far away. All of this beautiful craftsmanship is perfectly framed inside the opening of this keyhole, providing a clean sight line to a gorgeous background with no ending or obstructions, as far as the eye can see. And as far as I'm concerned, if the Grand Canyon ever blows up, don't worry. Disney is fully prepared to make us a new one. Lightning Lane not included. Of course, Cars Land is beautiful from every square inch but when we stand here, we really get to see it framed as if we're looking into a postcard or a painting, but this time we get to walk inside of it. Whether it's the tunnel that you first walk in when you start your day or the tunnel that you take to your favorite land, if you start to look for this design trick, you'll find it nearly everywhere. While the rest of the world is looking for hidden Mickeys, I'm looking for perfectly designed keyholes that frame this land of make-believe and all along the way remind me Someone somewhere drew this all on paper before it was built for you and me and became a reality. Disneyland is a land sculpted, constructed, and designed by artists. And everywhere you look, they leave behind something new for you to explore, inspired from their imagination to yours. Hey friends, if you're enjoying exploring all the keyholes, don't be a butthole and subscribe to the channel.